Wow. The streets are empty at 7.30 a.m. But good morning, guys. We are on the hunt. No, we're on the move, really. We have been in Gull for two days, and uh, we're heading to the bus station because we're going to Yala. It's gonna be a, <laughs> a fun journey because we don't actually know exactly how to, uh, to get there. I believe the closest city nearby is called Tissa Mahadrama, I think. And then hopefully from Gaul, we can catch a bus directly, but we tried to get a little bit of info um, before. And I don't think it's that plausible. So likely scenario is go to Mathura, then catch a bus from uh, Mathura to Tissa Mathura. Tissa, these names then, these names. Uh, but we need a tuk tuk. I swear they're not around when you when you don't need them, they're not here. Machan! No. Wow. 30 seconds? What's going on? <laughs> oh he's uh, he's getting his boys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll Machans, see. Machans! <laughs> All right. Anyways, we're heading to Yala for a couple nights. Gull was okay. Gull was. Uh, what did you think of Gull, Dad? Coming. Oh, we we he's coming. Gull. Okay, Stuti Machan. What did you think of uh, Gull? Lots lots of history, which we didn't really dig down too much into. However, um, yeah, cute uh, boutique. Uh, west meets east. I don't know. It's a mixture of everything. Yeah, it's it's honestly, really fascinating actually. Um, I didn't uh, film any videos here. It's an interesting vibe. A lot of jewellery shops. Yeah. <laughs> so, so nothing of our interest. We're going to have a collision here. All right. Let's go together, together. Machan. Commodore. Bus station. God. 300. Oh. Apiya, apiyama, apiyama. It's only like a kilometer away, but paying 300 for that. Let's, uh... Get the bags in. We're just making our way through the fort and everything. It was super cool, like roaming around here, seeing all the history and whatnot. Um, but today we make moves. We make moves to Yala. And we're staying at a pretty cool hotel once we get there. So I'm excited to show you guys that in the next video. But the, uh, the real journey in today is going on Sri Lanka's crazy bus. The buses are crazy here, Dad. Uh, like I think, yeah, that's too, too, pretty typical around here. I think a lot of things. No, like I think, in my opinion, they're the craziest in the world. The buses specifically. Are they step up from the tuk tuks? Oh yeah. Oh okay, then yeah, sure. <laughs> but at least we're um, at least we're bigger than the tuk tuks. <laughs> that's the rule here. Whoever's biggest owns the road, really. Okay, yeah. Anyways, we're approaching the bus station. We'll uh, we'll figure it out along the way. We almost ran over that little Sri Lankan man. All right. There we are. It's one bag. We're actually uh, traveling pretty light. Well, this is what I always travel with. Just a small bag. And another backpack. You paid him? Yeah, paid him. All right. 300 rupees. Up Yamo, let's do it. The journey begins. Should we time it? <laughs> yeah, what's the time right now? 7.35. 7.35. I reckon we'll get there by one. One, oh, wow, okay. Midday, maybe. What, one am? <laughs> Depends how crazy they are. <laughs> well, that's the, that's the thing I'm, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You've got to be an indication of time. Yeah. Safety, maybe. Yeah. So we're looking for Martara. This is like the bus stand. It's actually reasonably organized. You have all the ones going to different places around Sri Lanka. Here, Martara Express. Martara is like basically the biggest bus station in the south. No, no, no. You, you buy them on there. Suburesana Machan. Martara? Stuti, Stuti. All right. We're on the crazy bus, everybody. Here we go. I reckon. 
right here is perfect. Right by the speaker. Oh. Actually, maybe that's, the, that's not going to be good for the copyright music, so. Uh, yeah, let's go to the back seat. Yeah. Or maybe a three seater. Get a bit of extra space. Oh, we'll add another speaker. Alright. We'll probably have to pay for three seats. Yeah. Luggage is increased. I don't know. Well, it's, it's kind of just based on how many seats you take up. Oh, is it? Really? Yeah. They really got the music going today. When I had the bus up to Candy, it uh, it wasn't that loud music. I think we should sit here. We'll take up three. Yeah, take up three okay. instead of taking up five. And we can chuck some up in there. We're finally set. We're set for the adventure, but we're being blocked. We're kind of trapped in. We got that big bus, and we got a big bus ahead of us as well. All right. Yeah, you ready? Big, big spread here. I got space here. Okay. Oh. <laughs> My yoga is not very good these days. <laughs> My flexibility is worse. We do have to get comfortable though. I know. They could are. Be, uh, uh, no, they're honestly very crazy. That could be a few hours. Good. No, this first one will be like one hour. Oh, yeah. And I think the next one's about three hours. So the next one's the important one to get right. I don't know what it is, but there's something so blissful about sticking your head out of windows, whether it be trains or tuk-tuks, having a fresh breeze upon you, going by the water watching the waves break, it's just such a, a blissful experience. You do have to be careful though, you don't want to get your head knocked off by another bus. Or lose your hat. I don't want to be losing my hat. Subu desu uh matra. I wonder how much it will be. And uh, I'm also not sure if we're paying for two or three tickets. Stuti. So 170 back. So it was uh, quick maths. 330. 330 for two people to get maybe like 30 or 40 kilometers to Matra. It's like two dollars. Yeah, a dollar each. With <laughs> with all our luggage as well, it's pretty good. Anyways, now that we're paid. We can enjoy the views of the beach towns. I think right now we're going through Unawatuna. Nice couple waves there. Oh, better keep my hands in before they get chopped off like my other hand. Um, so I think we're in Unawatuna at the moment. I actually stayed here in 2019 for a few nights in Unawatuna before I made my way down to uh, Marissa. At the time, there weren't many tourists here because the Easter bombings had just happened. All the tourists kind of uh, fled the country. And uh, I had the beach all to myself. I had hotels all to myself. At the time I was staying in dorm rooms, which were empty. So I basically paid like a couple bucks a night for a, a full six bed room that was all by myself. Um, so it was an interesting experience to say the least. Coming here and not really seeing many tourists. Oh, look at that wave there. Oh, you won't be able to see it, but it's a beautiful break. Good for a bit of surfing, but it's uh, like it's very comparable or like incomparable to the last time I was here in Sri Lanka just because the tourism industry right now, obviously with COVID and stuff, it's really picked up a lot. And uh, back when I was here last time, the, I don't think I saw another tourist for like a week and a half until I got to Marissa. Didn't see them in Una Watuna, uh, didn't see them in Gaul. Yeah, Gaul was actually, I stayed in Gaul for two nights. And uh, that was interesting because there were so many tourists there the past couple of days that we were here. So it's good to see tourism is kicking off again, helping out the local economy and uh, helping out the people. I really hope the camera can justify this base. I feel like I feel like the speakers are gonna blow out. It's so it's like doof doof. 
doof, 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 doof. But we're in Weligama. We uh, just like came through the bus station just over there. This is where I stayed uh, a couple nights with the boys uh, a few weeks ago. Whoa. So it's, uh, it's good to be back in this area. More very, very touristy area. Very uh, party central, surf central. Good beaches, good surfing. Uh, but I was driving past like uh, Mitigama, Rams and Lazy Left and man, those, those beaches, those breaks look like absolute paradise. I think uh, before I leave Sri Lanka, after dad leaves, I think I'll have to make a trip up to Mitigama or uh, Ahanagama and get a, a couple of good surf days in just because uh, Lazy Left and Rams, that's the beach break that it's called. They look like absolute paradise. But we're driving through here. Oh, we better get our arms in. Don't want to get chopped off. <laughs> wow, yeah, ambulance is there. It's definitely not a good situation at all. But it's a common, common occurrence here, unfortunately. Oh, I think it's a tourist. Oh my God. Two tourists. Hopefully they are all okay. That's crazy. All right, everybody. After maybe an hour and a half, we're finally approaching the uh, Martha bus stand. So we're gonna grab some breakfast after we get off here, and then we'll catch the next bus over to uh, Yala, which will be significantly uh, longer in length and time. So up Yamo, let's get off this bus, and we'll try and find the next one after a bit of food. Hello. Oh, well, no, we're eating. Where are we off to? There's a, there's a shop over here that does like roti and stuff. Well, should we find out where the bus usually goes? Uh, I think it's every like 10 minutes. Really? Yeah. Well, let's eat first. I think it's the shop, right? This is where I had the kotu. Yeah. Subodesa Namachan. Do you have egg hoppers? Machan. Egg hoppers is a finish. Huh? Finish egg roti. Oh, 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 you have egg roti? Roti and vegetable roti and egg roti and egg parada. You have coming? You can do uh, egg roti fresh. Maybe we'll ask this Machan. Oh, here's the egg roti. So you got hoppers, egg roti. Egg roti, That's, I think, egg something as well. You can do, um, like, egg roti fresh. It's okay. Um, do you want yeah, two? Yeah, yeah, one, yeah. Uh, or you want one or two? I right, one and one uh, veggie. Okay. Yeah. Let's see how these are made. This is my favorite part. He whips it up. Just like this. So these veg ones. You like the veg ones, don't you, Dad? Yeah, yeah, yeah they're really beautiful. It's spicy. Yeah. Uh, did the, uh, the egg ones before? The egg ones I've had before. Are they spicy? Or they... No, they're not spicy at all. Oh. The veg ones I find a little bit spicy yeah. though. But he's cooking them all up here. So I imagine... Oh, here's the mixture. So that's like what's involved in a veg... Veg roti. So here we go. It's folded up like that. It, it amazes me how he's able to get it into a perfect triangle every single time. Very good, Machan. Very good. <laughs> I love it. He's whipping it around. Yeah, like a pizza. Yeah, spin it around. <laughs> and there's the egg ones. I guess they're pre-made. Actually, maybe uh, two egg, two veg. I'll have one veg. I'll try it. Gotta try it out. It does look spicy though, in here. 
there's a lot of chili flakes. And I'm not the best with spice, I will say guys, Sri Lanka, out of all the countries I've been to, you guys hold the throne for the most spicy two food. Two veg. Oh no, um, no curry though. Much, oh, do you, do you want curry? Yeah, yeah. well, because they kind of do it like that. Oh, not a traditional curry. Yeah, Machan. Um, no, don't do curry. Machan, curry, no. curry, no. Just, you know? just plain. All right, so we got the egg roti here, oh, yeah. veg roti. Yeah, it's really nice and like plain. We also got some dal here. Uh, I think that's cold, but what I love doing is it's getting a bit of uh, dal on the side there, and then kind of just like getting a handful of this, and then boom, got some dal, got some egg roti, and then you put it in your mouth. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. That's really nice. So egg roti with that? Yeah. That's actually delicious. Let's um, get some of that. Okay. Mmm. Yeah, it's nice. Really good. Mm. I'm a big fan of dal. I like it. A lot. But... We've had a minute for the veg roti to cool down, so <laughs> he kind of like cut it up into uh, pieces for us. Like when I was a kid, mum used to uh, chop up my little bits of chicken or bits of steak. I feel like I'm being uh, parented again, but here we have the uh, veg roti. This is the first time I've tried this, I think. Maybe, I, well definitely on this trip. I think I've tried it uh, in 2019 when I was here. But we got like, you can see in the middle, the like potato, onions, the different like bits of spices and then veg and all that. So, oh, yeah, that's the perfect bit to get in the mouth. And get your water ready. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's. Oh, I was gonna say it's not spicy hot. It's like physically hot, no, no, no. but. Wow. <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah, I find that spicy. really spicy. Yeah. I think I need to steal your water. Have you got any? Yeah. Machan, I have uh, one water, please. Cool, please. <laughs> ASAP. Control. It's <laughs> all in your head. Oh, of course, the water's all the way at the back. <laughs> what are the chances? <laughs> Stuti Machan. Cola? Cola? Ah, uh, no cola. I said at the beginning, guys, Sri Lanka has the spiciest food. I'm not finding it too bad. I'm finding it manageable. Strawberry is one, so I don't do great. well at all with uh, with spices. Jeez. <laughs> I'll stick to my dal and my plain uh, roti. You can see the little bits of uh, egg that have been cooked in there. I can see some chili flakes as well, but you know whether you have it like plain. Or if you have it with the dal, it's just so nice, you know, just plain and simple, savory a bit. Just has really nice texture and really nice taste. And of course, if you add a bit of dal to that, then you get a whole combination of flavors. Yeah. Such, so simple, mm. such a simple meal, but it tastes so good. I probably mentioned this in another like food video, but I find it funny how in Sri Lanka they add the like the plastic bag on top. Yeah, what's going on there? <laughs> I think it's just to not get the plate dirty so they can like reuse it. So when yeah, exactly. when people are finished with their curries and stuff, they just like fold it up and then chuck it immediately. Yeah. So yeah, I get that. I mean, more plastic waste. Machan, very good. More plastic waste, but uh, less labor costs. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just sort of taking on one of those. Um, on the that spicy, on the, spicy, that one on the spicy veg roti. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you know, I don't know. <laughs> so it's not just me, thankfully. Mm. It must be an Australian thing. Can we grab the bill, Machan? Me? Yeah, thank you. Stuti. Okay, five, five, zero. Okay. Stuti thank Machan, thank you. Alright. Get the bags on. And then we'll catch the next bus. Alright, we made a little pit stop to the next store over. 
to get some uh, some Nis Cafe coffee. Let's give it a taste. Us. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, it's okay. It's just normal Nescafe coffee. It's good. It's like a cappuccino, yeah. yeah. Coffee. Frothy. It feels hot. It's a temperature hot. That's okay. It's, it's manageable. <laughs> oh god. Oh yeah. This is gonna get it going. Dancing on <laughs> hopefully, music oh, on the yeah, hopefully we get the, the <laughs> yeah. next bus has yeah. lots of good music as well. <laughs> Coffee break is over, now it's time to find the next bus to Yala. Well actually not specifically Yala, but a city that's nearby. The city that gets us closest there, I think it's called uh, Tissa Maharama. Tissa Maharama. So we're gonna be looking out for that on these signs. It's actually pretty good to have like where the buses depart from and where they're going. So if you want to go to Gandhara, Kalala, Nuwatana, you go there. But uh, generally speaking, it's just best to ask a local or an information center. That's the best way to do it. So I think we'll do that. We're going uh, to Yala or- Yala, Gol. No, no, no. Uh, where are we going? What is it called? Tisa, Tisa, Tisa Maharama. You can go that side and last bus. Last bus. Yeah, bus. Thank, Thank you, you. Mashan. Stuti. Yeah, <laughs> See? You just ask somebody and they'll help you out. Last bus apparently. Alright, we got Kathar Lagama and then Tissa. I guess they shorten it. So it's called uh, Tissa here, but it's also known as uh, Tissa Dharmarama. Toilet? Sure. Uh, Machan, how long until the bus leaves? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, to Yala. Yeah. yeah. Um, yes, sir. Three hours. Three hours. Three hours. Three hours. Okay, so, and departure time? Five minutes, ten minutes? Five minutes. Five minutes. Okay. Do you have five minutes to find a toilet? Well, it's gonna be three hours on there. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> but I don't, I don't, I don't trust five Sri Lankan minutes. It could be two minutes. It could be twenty minutes. Well, it goes every ten minutes, does it? Oh, that's what I was told in Gaul. I don't know if I trust that either. <laughs> All I know well, is now, the more we have this conversation, the more time we're I know, wasting. I know, I know. We're gonna make a quick decision. Uh, I can jump on. I reckon I can hold. Okay, it, yeah. And you can hold. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. All right, up Yamu. Let's do it. Hello, yeah. <laughs> Everyone here helps out. Tisa Tisa Tanam Rama? Machan Stuti. Alright. Oh, it's a different bus. It's a two-seater. What do we think? Take the back? Uh, it's just the back is always the bumpiest. Okay. We have a just a seatage. All right, we got our seats on the crazy bus. I'm not sure if this one will be as crazy as the one we had before. The music seems to be a little more mellow. Um, but, oh, we're, we're moving. Do you think you could have gone, to, found the toilet and gone to the toilet in that time? Uh, I would have missed the bus. Yeah, sure. That's a good decision. Chasing you. <laughs> you would have had to meet me there. Well, at least oh. I know the right bus to get on. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. We're stuck in a hole. Oh. Over the bump we go, and off we are to uh, Tissa or Tissa Tharama or Yala, whichever one you want to call it. But we're heading in that direction, that's all I know. All right, guys, so we got two tickets 235 uh, rupees each. It's like a like over just over one US dollar per person to go what 100 kilometers or so, three hour journey over to Tissamatharama. So, might as well give uh, Dad his ticket. There's your ticket. <laughs> and here's my ticket. And we're officially on the journey to Yala. Yala Bina, Yala to Yala. <laughs> Let's do it. We are absolutely flying along. We 
have just passed a, uh, a little town called Tangal. It's uh, actually a little bit further on from Dikwella where I spent a lot of time. But uh, the climate here, it's kind of changed a lot. You know, it's a, it's a lot more barren and dry. You can feel a different kind of heat. It's not as humid as it was. It's definitely a, a drier heat and uh, a little bit more of a drier, it's kind of like surroundings, more dead shrubs around. And I imagine the further we get into the uh, kind of like the east side of Sri Lanka, the hotter and uh, more dry it's going to get. So it's going to be interesting seeing like the transition from uh, what we were experiencing in like Gal uh, and then parts of Matara where it's like, you know, pretty green versus what we're witnessing now. So we are flying by. Look at this. Wow. We're picking up pace there. Oh, freaking God. Like really, this is like the fastest I've ever been in a bus. This is oh. crazy. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know if the, I don't know if the camera's uh I don't know if the camera's justifying the speed that we're going, but it's crazy. Oh my god. Got a uh, little bit of a traffic jam. Oh a prison bus. There's prisoners. Oh really? <laughs> It literally said prison on the front of it. And it was all like caged and everything. Oh, wow, that's a first for everything, right? All right, guys. We are at another bus station called, uh, what's the name of this one? Hamba, Hamba Ntota. There's a little market over that way. But at all like the major bus stations, you'll notice a lot of people come on and sell their uh, goods and services. This guy's selling some lottery tickets. I was hoping there would be like a peanut seller or a nut seller that would come on and I'd buy some because I'm really like craving, you know, a couple of like peanuts. But unfortunately not. But I'm sure we'll be able to find something over there. But I don't, I don't think we're here for uh, for that long. But that's a pretty market over there. But it's just interesting seeing like the change in kind of the landscape and the change in uh, like facilities and everything as you make your way around the south coast and then up towards the east. You know, it's very like, it's just a different vibe out here. It's very like dry. It's very interesting. Um, yeah, it's just like a, a completely different world on the on this side. So it's interesting, interesting to see. The lottery tickets. Lottery, lottery. Yeah, only, only Shrikens yeah. like 12, maybe lakhs or 8 lakhs or something. Like there's so many different ones. It kind of reminds me of like scratchies. Back in Australia we have them, scratch tickets where you scratch with a coin and then if you get like three matching symbols you win that or something like that. But we're on the move again. Michan's got to jump off the box. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> and off he goes. <laughs> oh man. When I was on the crazy bus uh, with Ali up to Candy, I was like hanging out the side and I just remembered like it's just like a train. You can just kind of like sit on the side here and watch out, make sure you're holding on. <laughs> you might be filming my death. Uh, I might be, but I don't think so. You've done a train. Oh, but this is cool. Oh, there is a, a truck coming up. But you know, you always got to hold on and make sure oh, this guy's getting off. Sean. <laughs> but it's fun, you know? You just like, don't get these opportunities uh, in Australia at least, you know? You gotta make the most of it while you're here. Enjoy the fresh breeze of the Sri Lankan air as we roam around the streets. Oh, I trod on you. <laughs> Okay. Welcome to Tissa Mahara, everybody. Welcome to Tissa. Thank you, thank you, Stuti. Oh my goodness. Where bus number go? two done. Where do we go now? We need bus number three. Yala. Yeah, Karinda, we need to get on that one. Karinda. Why are you going to Karinda? Yeah, we're going to Karinda. Where are you going? Uh, I'm going also to Karinda. Oh. And uh, my hometown is there. Very and, good. Uh, well, you can you can join us now. <laughs> yeah. Must it start for half an hour? Half an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know if I believe you. 
Yeah. Well, we'll join you. Oh no, I don't think it's actually half an hour. Huh? I don't think it's it's like leaving soon. Oh, it's, not, but, uh, half an it's hour, the half old uh, tuk tuk scan. No. 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 Oh, okay. Exactly. <laughs> we'll hop on. All right. Corinda, here we go. Oh wow, it's a hot one. Subo Sunday Vok, everybody. We'll go down the very back. Doing? I'm gonna go out and around. Maybe. Huh? Oh no, the bus is gone. Oh yeah, get on. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they told us half an hour. I knew it. The good old rickshaw scam. This actually, this happened to me. Uh, yeah, look when they like to stand on the bus up there. Yeah. It is hot in here, but yeah, everybody, you have to be careful. Like at these uh, points where buses like switch when you have to get two or three buses, a lot of the times there's like rickshaw people there or taxi people saying that oh the bus doesn't come, um, the bus isn't here, you know, etc. Like. Uh, <laughs> Keep going forward, Dad, if you can. Huh? I can't. I push someone We're on a crazy bus. Part three. <laughs> Anyways. That took the, uh, good. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should have just paid for the tuk-tuk. <laughs> no, it's all about the experience. But honestly, be careful um, with the timings and everything because some people say, you know, buses don't go for 30 minutes, you heard him say. Uh, and, you know, usually you trust the locals. <laughs> this is crazy. Machan. Yes, Machan. How are you? Good. I'm good. How are you? I'm working well and I'm not Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a safari ride. Oh, we don't need no safari. You don't make it? No, we don't Why? need. Why? Do we have hotel. Ah. They organize. How many sir? When you go hotel safari, very expensive. What they do is they acknowledge the tour, they keep the commission, they sell it someone else. Well, how much How much is your safari? We, uh, you like to do half a day safari or full day safari? Half day. Half day safari, two options have, five hours and seven hours. We don't make it five hours. Yal is very big jungle. We make it seven hours, two or four thirty. We start back in hotel, twelve o'clock. We charge everything included. Thirty-five dollars one person. Thirty-five dollars. Yeah, okay. include park entrance, jeep, driver guide, all included. Yeah. If you like, you can take my. Well, I, I don't. I don't know if I can believe you anymore because you said this bus didn't leave no, for sir. thirty minutes, no? no? You know, sir. <laughs> Every bus have half an hour, half an hour. I don't know which time is this bus leaves. Anyways, that's why I tell you. When I get to Corinda, I'll let I'll let you know. Yeah, you can take my mobile number, then you can call me. Ah, uh, maybe. I'll you decide have, soon. You have a mobile? Yeah, but I'm a little bit preoccupied with this bus. Okay. The word. <laughs> at least we got at least we got music to come with it. <laughs> Again. <laughs> oh, wouldn't you like to know? It's okay. <laughs> I'm glad I put a good load of Dieron on today. You know? Yeah. That guy that was talking to me, he just jumped off the bus. So that's his whole, uh, that's his whole scam slash tout slash uh, oh, tourist trap. Be careful. Machan, Corinda too. Corinda. Stuti. What'd you say? A great, a great experience. A great. <laughs> All right, we finally got a seat on the crazy bus. Dad got a seat up there. I got a seat here, but I don't think we actually have much longer on here. Maybe like five minutes. We we're already halfway uh, between Tissa and Corinda. Maybe like we're, we're probably like three quarters of the way there, so not too long to go. But here's the look of uh, Corinda, everybody. 
safari vibes, you know, you got the, the nature, kind of the dirt and everything. It's the, uh, the best explanation I can give at the moment. But I'm sure as we make our way, make our way further deeper inside, it'll be uh, a beautiful, a beautiful area to hang out in. Suba Sandia Vakmachan, Komara. Hyundai? How much you go to uh, Cinnamon? Cinnamon? Yeah. 1,500. Wow! <laughs> That's double what my friends paid. Yeah. yeah. And uh, 12, 12 kilometers. Yeah, wow. but my yeah. friends... my f And jungle, kilometer, two kilometer jungle. Yeah, but my friends, they pay a lot less than that. My friends only paid 800 when they came. 800? Eight, oh, no. From the beach, from the beach. Beach? Yeah. <laughs> I swear, I swear. Well, we don't really have any other options, do we, Machan? Machan price, Machan price. Machan price, 1,300. 1,300, up Thank you, Machan. Yeah. See, on Machan, you take my number. If you like, you can ring no, me. Because it's okay. anyway, cinnamon, you can ask how much the price. Very expensive. Yeah, I know. It will because be more I expensive. have already three people. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. To do tomorrow morning. Then I can pick you there. No, morning. tomorrow morning we don't do. You want to go next day? We're not sure. Yeah, you anyway. You take my number. Oh, it's okay. We just uh, we go through the hotel, Machan. Okay, Machan. Stuti. <laughs> He was uh, just trying to sell his uh, safari tour, which is very common here. But um, like, I don't, I don't want to waste his time. I don't want to waste my time. So that's why I'm like, Machan, I just, I just don't. I'm sorry, I'm not going on your safari. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're gonna finish up the video here, everybody. And uh, the next video will be going to the resort. So I'm gonna split this into two. That's a crazy train. No, not a train. A crazy bus. A crazy buses. Three buses we caught all the way from Gaul to get to here to the uh, Yala National Park. Anyways, thanks for watching. Chase your dreams. We'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.